All right, so I was debating, like, did I want to do a standing stream, you know, one of the standing streams, or, or what, what am I going to do here? And I'm like, no, I am not in the mood. Uh, Shani already did a very successful good stream today, which is amazing. She can pull an audience any time of the day and get a good stream, you know? Oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. Uh... Oh my god, ouch. And that cat was up on the computer and woke us up. You know. There's that. I'm trying to I'm trying I'm trying my best, folks. You know. Here we go. Ah. <sighs> oh, no. I want to get my uh I want to get my uh Shani has a really good webcam. And, uh... Shani has a really good webcam. A Brio, another, an extra Brio she has. And I want to, I want to get in on that situation. You know, because I could use it. You know, I could use a good camera. Already set up, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's no big deal. It's when just... I find it, I'll give it to you, honey. No, it's fine, because this webcam is, is very good. It's just that the lighting in the room is pretty rough, you know? No, I get you. We don't have a stu... We, we're going to why, some... Why don't you put that light on you? The small one. Uh, because the light it gives off is kind of rough. I mean... Gotta get used to studio lighting, bro. No, it's like white light, though. See? It's white light. Like, all of these things are artificial, weird lighting. Hi... Hey, what's up? Dave's not here, man. Hi, it is the Reverend. This is your Reverend, if you want me to be. Because I am ordained by American Ministries. By American Marriage I Ministries, I, I am a uh, actual Reverend with a certificate. So I can marry individuals. I, I just... Alright. I don't want to get sidetracked. We have, we have a message here. And it's fitting now that to, to, to stage right here it, it'd be your right uh we have king david sitting next to me here uh and i've been using this graphic of king david for some reason it was mainly i think because i was reading psalm 37 and of course david uh there is the author uh i'm gonna up my volume a little bit so i'm going in the yellow i want to be in the yellow i want to be in the yellow yeah that's probably better about I th I'm thinking 3 dBs down 3.3 dBs like I'm locking it there okay um, I was I was doing a reading I, I did a reading on Psalm 37 and and that's why David's up here but now this is very fitting uh, because we have to go to the storyline <laughs> all right so I am King David in this situation uh, and we're in this Quentin Tarantino type movie scenario of alternate like changing history a bit right changing the stories in history to uh to create a narrative i guess okay so me as king david uriah isn't dead in this history th in this in this alternate history thing uh uriah didn't die uh uriah just got self-conscious over david or other davids and uh left or had an incident or had an incident uh where uriah's brother was an asshole to bathsheba and there was a clash between bathsheba and uriah's brother and he decided to leave the relationship with bathsheba because of that that's the history change so David didn't really eat, put him on the battle. There's no battlefield for David to put him on. So David's just here, like, trying to help people, kind of. Because he uh, David had repented by this time, and he understood that you should just take care of people. <laughs> Old David. Like the picture. That's amazing God does that. Why did God have me put King David's picture up here like this so much? I love that, though. It's a beautiful depiction of how I think it's David. A God thing. Yeah, I think that's a great depiction. Charlie Cheswick, absolutely. Dave's not here. 
I feel like Charlie Cheswick sometimes. You know, you know, Mr. Harding, they all start to gang up on you. You know, they do that to me too. Cheswick, settle down. Don't, don't stand up for me. Okay? Just settle down, Cheswick. Have a cigarette. Please. But I just want to, please. I just wanted to help you. Please. Huh? You're off topic here. No, I was just doing a scene. They said Charlie Cheswick. So for... What? Well, that would be a fake picture, Anastasia, Anastasia Beaverhausen. And now you're being blocked because that's extremely personal. Okay? I'm not going to tolerate personal shit like that. Okay? It's just not going to happen. Because there's too much bullshit. I'm sorry. If you do that, you're just going to be blocked. Like, real quick. I can't deal with that shit. You know what I mean? It really brings a lot of stress to me. I need a diplomas. I need a Cheswick, which is a cigarette. You know, I, if that would be another brand of cigarettes I would have would be Cheswick's. All right, so what I'm saying to Uriah, who's alive in this alternate history, is there's no malice here with David. David's going to literally just give you counsel and say, look, uh, things happened. And I didn't live Uriah's life. So, so King David can't say to Uriah, you should handle this this, this way, because I did not live that. I didn't live what you lived, Chris. Or Uriah. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Uriah. I didn't live that, what you went through. So I can't, I'm not going to be arrogant and try and tell you how to live past what you lived through. But I, I'll tell you this, I wouldn't want you depressed. I wouldn't want you feeling guilty for the rest of your life, certainly, because I was blessed by this because I found, I believe Shani's my soulmate. I believe she's my soulmate because I believe in that stuff. And I don't know if you ever felt that way about her, you know, if, if you could be honest with, with individuals about that. If you felt that she was a soulmate to you, Bathsheba was a soulmate to you, then I would love to, you know, I would listen to that. But whatever. The point is, is that... Um, King David wants to see Uriah move on and, and, and have a good life. And King David's counsel to Uriah would be uh, don't do again what you did to Shani to another woman. That would be my that would be King David's only advice to Uriah. And to keep your faith in Jesus if you're still a Christian, right? That's, of course, that would be hugely important. You know? <laughs> That's hugely. I have a jobby. Hey, what's up? Buddy from the outside chat, you've been really nice, man. Hi, Sakatumi. Yeah, I'm not doing the hate here, okay? Can we not have hate? You go timeout for this one. Well, I don't want hate. Like calling names and, and giving uh, names. That's not loving. Okay, that's not loving. I want a love channel like Shani. I want that type of... I want that vibe, you know? So... Uh, hi, Robin. Yeah, we miss you guys whenever we're not, you know, you the regular crew. You guys are really cool and chill, you know? No, I'm cool, man. I ain't being held hostage. I'm cool. I'm happy. I am. You know, the here, I want you to understand something, okay? That life is going to deal you things. And I, oh, poor cat, is that a baby? Uh... Life is going to deal... You can say God deals you the cards. Yeah, that's true. But the... Holy crap, I've been muted this whole time. Let me see. Holy crap, I'm so sorry. No, you haven't been. Well, that would be a fake. How did that happen? Whoa, my mic muted. No, I hit the space bar. Oh. Ah, uh, that's what I did. I hit the space bar. I really apologize. No, I'm not muted now. You got a little bit of a delay. Sorry about that. I really apologize to the folks. I, I got a little too expressive and I hit the space bar. 
in it. <laughs> so my apologies. Sounds very low. No, it sounds. It sounds perfect to me. Yeah, I don't want to drive this too much, Salem Mac, because it can blow people's heads off. It's this is like this is like a sound weapon. You can make this thing a sound weapon, and I don't want to do that. Okay, I have this on a very basic blue icicle uh, preamp with a nice smooth six, uh, 30 to 60 hertz goes back and forth so that it's a pleasant it's kind of almost sounds like a radio mic like that you'd hear somebody on talk radio in the old days in the 70s because that's you can see what this mic is this is it's very old school and that's because that's the way that neumann makes mics man it's old school mics and they'll last you forever and all the parts are readily available always to fix them if they need to be fixed. So it's like you got mics. Shanties is the same way. It's German built. German built shit. It's the best, man. It is. That's not a race statement, okay? That's just, I'm saying like engineering and audio, like Sennheiser, that's another brand. It's German. Neumann TLM 103. That's Shanties. Mine is the Neumann TLM 49, which is the model that Alex was rocking in 2008, man. Yeah, this I have this forever. <laughs> I put my volume up; it's better now. Yeah, see, it's it's you'll have to crank your volume a little bit with this mic because it's a higher quality sound because it's a corduroy microphone. Is they're just good mics, man, and they will last you forever. Yeah, it's a German car, nice. So that look, I don't have no malice, you know, because I was blessed. You know, that's the truth. I was blessed. So, uh huh? I don't understand that Artie Frosty at all. I don't know what you're asking. Uh, just get out of get out of the bullshit. Bam! Wow, that looks good on camera. That looks awesome. You're a brother, right? So whatever. I don't wish any anything bad on you, man. No malice, cause cause I got blessed. I love Shanny a lot, you know. Uh, Bathsheba, sorry. I love Bathsheba a lot, a lot. So, don't drink. I highly recommend don't. If it if it starts creeping up on you, don't do that. Cause man, I got trapped in that for a long time, and and it can it can catch up with you fast. So I wouldn't recommend that. But other than that. Don't hate yourself. Forgive yourself. And uh, go with God. That's about it, guys. Peace out.